As you may be aware, earlier this year, James Cook University engaged Elizabeth Broderick, a former sex discrimination commissioner, and her team to conduct um, a comprehensive review of our policies and our practices in respect of sexual harassment and sexual assault. We also asked the team to have a look at our cultural environment. Well, today, um, I'm very pleased to say I have in my hands the report from the Broderick Review, and we will be releasing that report in full. I'm also very pleased to say that we will implement each and every one of the recommendations in that report. This report and these recommendations make an important contribution to our university. Uh, by this means, I know that our university will be a stronger place and indeed we have give, we will, it will be giving us the very best chance to ensure that we are giving effect to our intent, which is to be a best practice institution when it comes to preventing uh, and reporting sexual harassment and sexual assault and dealing with our community in a safe and respectful manner. It may be that you're well, well aware already that earlier this year, the Australian Human Rights Commission also released a report on sexual harassment and sexual assault in Australian universities. James Cook University, of course, participated in that, view, in that review. Prior to that, under the Respect Now Always banner, Universities Australia had started a particular push together with universities across Australia to focus on Respect Now Always on the prevention of sexual harassment and sexual assault across all of our campuses. That effort started in 2016. James Cook University has been part of that effort since the get-go and it is very important that we have been and it's important that we've taken these steps not only to participate fully and accept all of the recommendations from the Australian Human Rights Commission uh, report but also also now to have both um, launched um, our own uh, review and now to be receiving that report and to be re accepting all of those recommendations means that as a university we are best placed to make sure that we can be involved in preventing, uh, reporting, uh, sexual harassment, sexual assault and making sure that our community is that safe and respectful place that we want it to be. We have been undertaking many uh, different activities over the length and breadth of that time, but there's more for us to come, and the guidance is there for us now in the Broderick Report. The report itself is warts and all. There are some very frank disclosures there. So students and staff who met with the review team, and there were many who did, um, and I'm very, very grateful to them for it, shared important information about incidents that they'd experienced, uh, their views and attitudes towards sexual harassment, sexual assault, and they told us more information too about what they'd heard about these sorts of incidents in our university. I certainly want to thank all of those people, certainly those who provided feedback through submissions and also those who took the time to meet with the Broderick team to share these um, views, to share their experience. That's not an easy thing to do and I very much respect and honour the fact that people have done that because by virtue of that being shared, we now can indeed be working towards being that, that safer, more respectful place. We know in our community, like all communities, and it is a sad truth that sexual harassment, sexual assault is a feature of Australian communities and a feature of Australian workplaces. But what we know now um, is a lot more than we knew before by virtue of the work that's gone on and particularly the Broderick Report. We know, like everybody else, that one incident of sexual harassment, sexual assault is one too many. Our students and our staff deserve to exist, to study and work in a safe and respectful environment we are absolutely determined to deliver just that and the Broderick Review provides us with both affirmation around some of the activities we've done to date today but it also provides us with further guidance. In respect of some of those incidents that have been shared that are confronting and frankly highly disturbing, a, a number of those have already been dealt with, others uh, are being dealt with, uh, yet others uh, we need further information on and we will do what we can but I urge anybody with information about those or any other incidents to please do come forward and share that information with us. Until we know and have some insight into these, we are always going to be very much um, compromised in what we can uh, achieve as a university. So please do come forward um, and make sure that you share 
those incidents and share your experience and share your views so that we can continue to operate um, as we want to do to improve our processes, to improve our reporting, to improve our policies and our procedures and our approaches so that we can deliver that, that holy grail of our university and others as well, a safe, respectful environment where we can simply get on every day with our work and with our study. So in closing, I want to sincerely thank the Broderick team for the work that they've done. It is a most valuable report. Uh, they have gone out of their way. I know that the hours they've put into this are well above and beyond what could be reasonably expected. They have done a stellar job and we're most grateful for it. Again, I want to sincerely thank staff and students in particular who took the time to either provide a submission or uh, provide um, time in their diaries, in their busy lives, to share incidents and information and attitudes uh, with the review uh, team as part of the interviews that were conducted. Um, and I want to assure you that everything we read here, everything we see, all of the guidance that's been provided uh, to the university at this point will be taken most seriously. We will be implementing the same. We will be looking to be best practice institution-wide uh, with further training. We want to make sure that there are good support services and we'll be monitoring these data and reporting on these data as well. So today is that important day. It is the next step on our journey. It is a step into the future for us and into the safer, more respectful university that I know our whole community wishes us to be. Thank you.